During the campaign for, my, for the presidency, <clears throat> I was unequivocal that if I was elected president, I'd respond to any attempt to influence our elections, the last election, and uh, because elections are sacred. They're sovereign undertakings. And they're an expression of the will of the American people. And we cannot allow foreign power to interfere in our democratic process with impunity. And I told them if it turned out that the invest, as I thought, that there was engagement in our elections, that I would, I'd respond. When we spoke again this week, I told them that we would shortly be responding in a measured and a proportionate way because we had concluded that they had interfered in the election and solar winds was totally out of the uh, inappropriate. Today, <clears throat> I've approved several steps, including expulsion of several Russian officials as a consequence of their actions. I've also signed an executive order authorizing new measures, including sanctions to address specific harmful actions that Russia has taken against U.S. interests. I was clear with President Putin that we could have gone further, but I chose not to do so. To be, I chose to be proportionate. The United States is not looking to kick off a cycle of, ex of escalation and conflict with Russia. We want a stable, predictable relationship. <clears throat> if Russia continues to interfere with our democracy, I'm prepared to take further actions to respond. When I spoke to President Putin, I expressed my belief that communication between the two of us personally and directly was to be essential in moving forward to a more effective relationship, and he agreed on that point. To that end, I propose that we meet in person this summer in Europe for a summit to address a range of issues facing both of our countries. Our teams are discussing that possibility right now.